As lackluster as the Sega Saturn launch was, it launched with some pretty great arcade-style racing games. I've talked about some of these ports and arcade experiences in other videos, but I have yet to talk about some of the amazing racing games on the Sega Saturn. The Saturn was known at the time to be the console that brought Sega arcade games into the home, and it didn't disappoint, especially in the racing games category. Not only did we get new fully polygonal racers, but we also got arcade perfect ports of previous Sega arcade titles that never ported well to previous systems. When many people think of racing games on the Saturn, most just think Daytona and Sega Rally. But when you lift the curtain and dive deep into the Saturn's library, you'll find a plethora of racing games that consisted of super scalers, full 3D, and ports of our favorites from the past. In fact, there are so many racing titles on the Saturn, I'll have to break this up into multiple videos. But today, on this video, I will cover a few of the most iconic racing games you have certainly heard of, and mix it up with some ports and Japanese-only games you'll be itching to play after watching this. If there is any I missed on part one, be sure to stick around so you don't miss part two. But on that note, let's get into the racing games on the Sega Saturn, part one. Daytona USA. We all know about Daytona, but what some might not know is there are three different versions on the Sega Saturn. Originally a launch title for the Saturn, this was a port of the popular arcade machine that was launched in arcades in 1994. The Sega Saturn would wind up getting three different versions of the game through its lifespan. Daytona USA at launch in 1995, which was the direct port from the arcade, this is considered the worst one, but in my opinion is the most iconic and most nostalgic for many of us. Daytona Championship Circuit in 1996, that gave the player more tracks, better graphics, and more cars. The game also has a much better frame rate than the original launch release. Daytona USA Netlink Edition was launched in 1997. This was the best version with all the added tracks and cars as well as a higher frame rate than the Championship Circuit. This game was made specifically to use the Sega Netlink modem so players could play others online. This was actually one of the first games to offer an online feature. You can get your hands on a copy of the Netlink edition, and it's worth it. All of the versions of Daytona that were released since the launch of the Saturn in the mid-90s, this is still the one I find myself going back to the most. F1 Championship. There aren't too many Formula 1 racing games I go back to often, mostly because I feel Sega did it best and F1 Championship sure did it right. Released in 1995 and developed by Video System, it is considered to be one of the best Formula 1 racing games of its time. The game features all of the teams and drivers from the 94 Formula 1 season. It also includes a variety of gameplay modes such as Arcade Grand Prix, Time Trial, and multiplayer, which allows up to two players to compete against each other. One of the most notable features of F1 Championship on the Sega Saturn is its impressive 3D graphics, which made use of the console's hardware to create more detailed and realistic track and car models. The game also featured a dynamic weather system, which can change during a race and actually affect the handling of the cars. High Velocity Mountain Racing Challenge was released in 1995. 
The game features high-speed downhill racing, with players competing on a variety of tracks set in mountainous terrain. Players can choose from a selection of vehicles, each with their own unique handling characteristics and stats, and then race against the clock or compete against other players in split-screen multiplayer mode. The game's visuals were quite impressive for its time, with detailed 3D environments and smooth frame rates. This game is no walk in the park, as you head down the mountain there are some extremely tight turns. So if you're into drifting style racing games, this is certainly one worth checking out. Chase HQ plus SCI is a compilation game which was released by Taito Corporation on the Sega Saturn in 1996 and only in Japan. It contains carbon copies of the Japanese version of the first two titles of their first Chase HQ series, including the original Japanese text and dialogue. I'm a huge fan of Chase HQ 2 on the Sega Genesis, so naturally this has become a favorite of mine. Both games feature a low, high gearing system, much like OutRun, and run extremely well on the Saturn hardware at a high frame rate. The 2D animation and scaling work flawlessly on the Sega Saturn hardware. In my opinion, this is one of the best ports of the first two titles. Keep in mind, this is Japanese only release that has yet to be translated, and I will admit, the dialogue with your dispatcher can be a little annoying at times, because it's a little overdone, but if you're looking to get the best experience for the original Chase HQ games, this is the way to play it. Sorry Turbo Graphics, but your 16-bit version just doesn't hold up against the Saturn ports. <laughs> Okay. Outrun. The iconic racing game Outrun was ported to a plethora of consoles, including the Sega Saturn's predecessor, the Sega Genesis. Outrun also got a port to the Saturn in 1996 on the Sega Ages collection. Not much to say about this one, I mean it's Outrun, however I certainly prefer this version of the game over the Genesis version for a few reasons. 1. Outrun on the Saturn utilizes scaling that Genesis couldn't do, this enhances the game graphically from its 16-bit counterpart. 2. It runs at a much higher frame rate and is certainly noticeable. I was never good at the Genesis version, but the Saturn's much higher frames per second allows you for better response time and makes the game a little easier as you're not fighting against a lower frame rate. If you haven't had a chance to play this on the Saturn, it's worth giving it a shot. Now keep in mind, this only got a Japanese release, so you'll need either a action replay or a Japanese Saturn to play it. Power Drift. This kart racing superscaler was released for the arcades by Sega in the late 80s. Unlike its 2.5D superscaler counterparts, Outrun and Hang On, this game was graphically ahead of its time. It never made it to Sega's 16-bit console, but found a port on Sega Ages for the Sega Saturn. Much like Outrun, this only had a Japanese release. The game features roller coaster-like tracks and a slew of different drivers. The game mechanics feel much like 
other late 80s Sega racers with high and low gears, and thrives on the Sega Saturn hardware. The gameplay is smooth and runs at a high frame rate. This game was never really as well received as other superscalar racing games, but I'm glad it got its port to the Saturn. This is a fine example of the Saturn hardware taking full advantage where previous generations of the consoles struggled. Sega Rally Championship. Sega Rally, developed by Sega's AM3 division, it is considered to be one of the best arcade style rally racing games of its time. The game features a variety of rally cars, tracks, including desert, forest, and mountain terrain. It also includes a time attack mode where the player races against the clock, and a championship mode where the player competes against other drivers in a series of races. One of the most notable features of Sega Rally on the Sega Saturn is how impressive the game looked on the Sega Saturn. Surprisingly, the console's hardware did a great job to create detailed and realistic track and car models. The game also features a unique surface deformation system that allows the terrain to be affected by the player's driving, such as creating ruts in the dirt or snow. This is certainly a staple in Saturn racing games, and it's touted as a prime example of the graphical power and potential that the Sega Saturn had. Virtual Racing, yes, I said Virtua. There is much debate on which version of Virtua Racing is better, the 32X or the Saturn version. I would argue the answer lies somewhere in between, and you can make a case for both games, but we are here to talk about the Saturn version. The game features three different racetracks, each with its own unique challenge, as well as three different race car models to choose from. It also includes a variety of gameplay modes, including time attack, single race, and championship mode. One of the notable features of virtual racing on the Sega Saturn is its impressive graphics, which made use of the console's hardware to create detailed and realistic 3D car and track models. The game also featured a realistic physics engine, which allowed for realistic handling and control of the cars. Many would argue, due to the graphical power the Saturn had over the 32X and Genesis, this is simply the best looking version, however the added realism in the performance of the car makes it a more challenging game with controls that can sometimes be outright frustrating, like needing to almost completely stop to make certain turns. If you're a fan of the series and really enjoy the old polygon looking virtual racing games, this is certainly worth experiencing on the Sega Saturn. Wipeout XL was released in 1997. 
My first experience with Wipeout was on the PlayStation and then the Saturn years later. Port on the Saturn certainly stands up against the PlayStation counterpart well. The game controls well and looks as good as the PlayStation version. The game was praised for its fast-paced gameplay, impressive graphics, and memorable electronic music, which made use of the console's hardware capabilities. Wipeout XL on the Sega Saturn is still considered to be a classic racing game and one of the best examples of the futuristic racing subgenre. Well guys, there you have it. Part 1 of the Sega Saturn Best Racing Games. Were there any you feel I missed? Let me know in the comments section below and I'll be sure to include them in Part 2. Which, I'll focus also more on the motorcycle racing games that we didn't talk about in this video, along with the other great classics that weren't on this one as well. If this is your first time here, I hope you can subscribe and stick around for a while. If you want to support the channel further, consider becoming a channel member. Channel members get inside access to the development of these types of videos, as well as get access to members-only live streams. Well, until next time, do you even Saturn Arcade Racing, bro? I'm the Retro Bro. I'll see you on the next video.